Hey Synthheads, today we're going to be talking about the Yamaha Mod X synthesizers, but we're going to go a little bit different direction. Instead of getting into the specs and reviews and all of that, we're actually going to be talking about synthesizer companies recycling their tech. Hi, I'm Pure Ambient Drone, and this is my vlog where I talk about synthesizers. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my synth adventures. Okay, so we're looking at the Yamaha Mod X, but not necessarily directly at it. What it is, it's basically a montage put into a smaller package to make it more affordable, okay? And that's not really the super topic of this video today. So I don't want to mislead anybody. If you're wanting specs on the Mod X, uh, if you want in-depth review or sound or something like that, this isn't the video for you. So, but what this video is about is about the trend of synthesizer companies repackaging their old tech ideas, if you will, and reselling them to the public. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not getting on Yamaha's case or anything. It's great that they're reaching a market that other people couldn't reach. I had the Montage uh, 6, and you know, the difference between 6, 7, and 8 is the number of keys, of course. So this Mod X makes it much more cheaper uh, for the average user to grab a hold of a good sounding synthesizer with the uh, montage engine in it without breaking their bank, okay? But um, synth heads like you and I, okay? Synth heads who watch videos like this, keep up with the latest news, we're in it for much more, right? We're in it for innovation. We're looking for something that's going to give us the wow factor. I think the biggest disappointment for true synth heads, okay, and I'm not talking about the person who plays in a band who needs uh, pianos, organs, uh, strings. I'm not talking about uh, those people there. I'm talking about the people like ourselves who are hardcore. We do it for extreme hobby. We do it for whatever other reasons. Uh, we're just, we're, we're willing to spend big bucks. We're looking for newer, better, stronger, synthesizers that are out there. Roland, as I mentioned in another previous video, they're doing the same thing. They're taking their old ideas and repackaging them into smaller boxes and making them more affordable for people. The question is, is this, is, is this what synth heads want? I'm looking towards stuff, uh, you know, I've mentioned this in my last several videos. I'm looking for stuff like uh, what Behringer's coming out with. They're taking some of the older classic synthesizers and they're turning them into something um, that is still analog nature. And we're, I'm, I'm, in this case, we're talking about analog because that's what they're doing. They're going back and redoing some analog gear. And uh, they're adding a modern day twist. They, they have to be because there's no way they can actually duplicate an old synthesizer with every single component that's ever been out there before. Uh, it's just impossible. It just cannot happen. You can't get the magic twice. You can't get the lightning in the bottle twice. Uh, so uh, Behringer is, isn't really doing anything super new, but they're doing something super exciting, okay? Um, they're going to be coming out with some really cool stuff. But, you know, the title of this video is about the Mod X from Yamaha. And I haven't always been a Yamaha fan of their uh, newer gear. You know what I'm talking about? But their montage caught my attention because of all the cool features and some of the uh, sounds, or, well, many of the sounds that are in the montage actually sound fantastic in a mix. So I was willing to to pull the trigger on the montage. I wouldn't call the montage anything super exciting, but it's what I call my all-rounder synthesizer. I can get stuff in a hurry out of the montage, and then every now and then it really does surprise me, okay? Plus there's some hands-on controls that give me some flexibility. Um, I think that this Mod X is actually going to be a good thing for those who don't want to pull the trigger on several thousands of dollars worth of keyboard uh, that is kind of probably limited for synth heads, okay? 
So, you know, again, when you watch these videos of mine, I want you guys to keep in mind that I'm talking to hardcore synth heads here, and this is a vlog, okay? If you want serious tech stuff, if you want serious uh, reviews, if you want some stuff that's really in-depth, I would say go on over to Sonic State, check them out. They got a lot of cool stuff that they review and go in depth with. But this is my vlog and this is what I'm thinking about today. This is my daily synth adventures. That's what this channel is all about. So, you know, the uh, Mod X is not for me and it wouldn't have been for me anyway had I not owned the Montage. When I buy a synthesizer, I want to buy the, the, the mothership, okay? The whole mothership. And maybe there would be an exception if I absolutely had to have a feature from something that was sub... Uh, par. I don't really want to use that word subpar, but if it wasn't the complete package. So the Mod X is kind of like not the complete package of what we're looking for uh, in the montage. If you want the complete mothership, you got to go for the montage, okay? But if you're one of these performers or starting out bands or you want to learn something about synthesis, uh, I think the Mod X could help you out a little bit. Again, um, this isn't an in-depth review. I want to make that very clear so people understand that um, if you want to learn more about the Mod X, go check out the specs uh, on Yamaha's website. And you can also check it out at various uh, music online stores because they, they have a lot of information there about what the features are. But really, in a nutshell, it's a montage that's repackaged down. And, uh, you know, I, let's put it this way. It's a watered down montage okay to make it more affordable kind of like going to the restaurant and you order a soda pop and it's more water than it is soda <laughs> maybe it's one of those deals i i don't know but the trend is in in the in the synth market for some for some companies is to just get up and repackage what they already have and it's brilliant in many ways because the synth company doesn't have to uh, invest in a lot of money, okay, to come up with something new, to come up with something uh, innovative. They can ride the wave a little longer. I'm not blaming them, okay, just like I don't blame uh, Roland for repackaging some of their stuff. I just wish that Roland wouldn't have went digital with what was analog. Uh, that that kind of bothers me. Uh, they're 05. They're 05 that they came out with their D05 for Roland. That was pretty cool. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it was its miniature nature. A full-size keyboard, that would have been the bomb. If they would have reissued, and they easily could have reissued the uh, Roland D5 uh, or D50, they could have came out and they could have put analog filters on it this time around, made it a full-size keyboard. There's so many things that Roland could have done. Um, Yamaha doesn't have a super rich history uh, of synthesizers that we would call classics today. I, I, I bet you some of you guys right now are disagreeing with me. But let's look at the DX7, for instance. Yamaha could have reissued that in a full-size keyboard. But they're kind of claiming that that's what the Montage does. But maybe they could have repackaged the D7 in a uh, brand new box, again, with analog filters and USB and some other modern-day twists. That would have been cool to see, too. And synth heads like you and I, we would have jumped all over that. I know we would have. And maybe they're saying the market is too small, but my gosh, I know of synth groups out there on Facebook just alone with tens of thousands of synth heads that join those and spend their money on innovative gear. All right? So, you know, uh, if Yamaha's listening, maybe they can get a little daring. Still waiting on a, a Yamaha modern day analog synth to come out. And again, I'm not either analog nor digital. I love both uh, both types of synths. Uh, I love all synthesizers, actually, as long as they're, uh, you know, capable of synthesizing sound in a unique, powerful user way. I love synthesizers. Anyways, this is my vlog for the day. It's a Saturday. I'm kind of just relaxing out here watching the cars. If you have a comment, man, share it because we have some of the greatest minds here uh, sharing information. We're a community on here, right? So share your comments below. Love to hear from you guys. You guys are awesome, all right? And until next time, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my vlogs. And I'm Pierre Ambient Drone. Keep calm and synth on.